Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today we have another episode of my Will I Play series. We're going to see how well the Intel HD 4600 can play Fallout 4. Fallout 4, so let's get started. Before we go over the benchmark results, let's go over the specifications of my system first. For the processor, I have an Intel Core i5 4460 clocked at 3.2 GHz with 16 GB of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM with the Intel HD4600 graphics unit. For the benchmarks with Fallout 4, I attempted to run the game at a 1920x1080, 1600x900, 1366x768 resolutions. At each resolution, I attempted to run the game at the preset graphics settings of ultra, high, medium, low, and also a final test setting everything to as low as possible because the low setting doesn't turn anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion off. So a total of 15 different benchmarks were attempted with this game. And if you're wondering why I keep saying attempted, it is because on most of the tests, the game just wouldn't play. The graphics driver continually crashed. The weird part, as you will see, is that even though there doesn't appear to be an order to which the settings ran and which didn't, the results were repeatable. It was always the same setting that ran and the same settings that failed, which is strange. At 1920x1080, the low setting was able to be run, but only for an average FPS of 12.2. At 1600x900, Ultra was the only test to be able to make the run, which makes no sense, for an average FPS of 13. At 1366 by 768, I was able to run the low and actual lowest test for no more than 22 FPS average on either, and each suffering for major dips in frame rate and stuttering. So will the Intel HD 4600 play Fallout 4? No, even if you can even get the game to run, you won't be able to play anything that's worth playing on this integrated graphics chip, so get a graphics card. So that's it for this episode of Will It Play? Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike it if it was more disappointing than the sign language interpreter at Nelson Mandela's funeral. That was rough. If you haven't seen that video, there will be a link down in the video description. Also, please leave a comment with any suggestions you have for future episodes of Will It Play, whether it be games or other integrated graphic systems. You can subscribe to stay up to date on future Will It episodes of Will It Play and other tech related videos that I produce like the review I just did of the PowerColor Devil R9390X which you can check by clicking the card in the top right hand corner. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.